It's time to fire this thing up. this really deep spider crack here in the splash well, okay, on the Boston Whaler. Well, that's gonna be outside where the sea deck is eventually going to be fitted into this boat. And I wanna introduce you to the owners of the craft, okay? This is my neighbor, this is Dennis and his wife, Aloha Lani. And Dennis was kinda of concerned about maybe some water getting down into the foam. And that's why I was saying, hey, can you at least fix those? I know the sea deck is gonna cover a lot of the spider cracks in the molded and gel coat, but uh, you're kinda of worried about that. Yes, yes. Okay, so what I wanna do, I, I need your permission first off to trailer it over to my boat shop. Absolutely. All right, and that's where I have all the tools and the gel coat and everything else. And also guys, you know, this gel coat's pretty aged and we're gonna be putting in new gel coat, and this can be kind of tricky to color match, and we're gonna do the best we can, but I'm not gonna guarantee an absolute perfect match. We'll do the best we can. Fine. Okay, but basically, we need to use a burbot, either with a Dremel tool or with a high-speed hand piece, and we need to kind of dish this out a little bit so that we can kind of open it up, and we'll wipe it out with some acetone, and we're going to color match the gel coat. We'll put in a sanding aid, and that's what's gonna get the gel coat to cure. And we need a thickening agent that isn't going to have any holes in the surface, okay, any mm -hmm. porosity. So we can use cabosil or colloidal silica, all right, and we're gonna thicken that up. And we're going to wipe in a paste. Now after that cures, we'll hand sand it using 100 grit dry paper, all right? Wipe it again with the acetone, and then we're gonna do a little bit of wet sanding in these areas around the boat. Now, we also should probably do a little compounding in here. You've got some oxidation yep. that we need to kind of bring the boat back a little bit. But right now, you guys are going to see kind of a couple of different versions of the sea deck and how the boat's gonna look once it's complete. But guess what, before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pulling together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Ship Shape TV, the world leader in boat improvement, is being brought to you in part by the high-tech, low-maintenance Evinrude E-Tech. Evinrude, spend more time on the water. By Sunbrella Performance Marine Fabrics, shading boats and boaters for over 50 years. We've got you covered, Sunbrella. And by Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. Traditional non-skids can be hard, slippery, or brittle. Need a solution? Stick it with Sea Deck, the comfortable EVA foam alternative with easy peel and stick application. If you have a boat and you have a need for Sea Deck, the wetter it gets, the better it grips. Sea Deck is your answer for replacing smelly, worn carpet. It also covers unsightly spider cracks, dings, stains, and all other gel coat imperfections, making your boat look like new. Sea Deck, comfort you need, traction you trust. Welcome back. This is a real working 28 acre boat yard slash boat building facility residing in Stewart, Florida. It's Shipshape TV's home base. Ideally located, the complex is situated on the shores of the Okeechobee Waterway, which happens to connect the Atlantic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. Now once again, here's the founder and host of Shipshape TV, John Graviscus. Thanks, Buck. This is my neighbor's 13 foot Boston whaler, and I've been helping them kind of modernized the boat. We put on a new engine and he's since taken out the seats, the side console, and he pointed out some areas in this molded in non-skid that really need to be addressed. Now this is a boat of caliper, okay? These older whalers, these older Bertrands pursuits, they're very nice boats to hang on to rather than buying new. And we could grind out this non-skid, we could put in fiberglass, we could re-gel coat, we could even repattern this molded in non-skid, but I'm telling you that would take a lot of time, weeks and weeks and weeks of work. 
Now there is an alternative, and my neighbor saw this man's product on my show before, and I want to introduce you to everybody. This is Chuck Yates. Hi, Chuck. Hey, John. And Chuck is one of the owners, as well as the vice president of sales for a company called Hyperform. And you're up around the uh, Rockledge area yeah, correct. In, in, in Florida. This is kind of around the Orlando, Cocoa Beach area, you know, up there. And you make this product, Hyperform makes Sea Deck. And I've shown before how you can put this on to like aluminum seats and have padding as well as traction. Very nice. You can also put this over top of center consoles and you know, we've shown the world, you know that. But a lot of people might not realize that you could actually put this in for new flooring and really beautify your boat and not spend a lot of money, not spend a lot of time Correct. on it, okay? And you offer these templating kits, and that's what I want to get into here, Chuck. How would we go about templating this so that we could send you some type of a pattern so that you can make us a nice, beautiful floor? Well, John, we offer one, two, and three-piece template kits. They consist of uh, mylar sheets, as you're holding, and this one right here, a Sharpie highlighter, and also instructions on how to do this. Real okay. simple process. Now he's removed all of the seats, he's removed the side console, but we still have some hardware. I don't know if you can see that right here. These are, these are tie downs for the actual fuel tanks, okay? Do we need to remove any hardware that's into the deck prior to starting the templating process? Yes, John, we want to remove any hardware that's mounted. We want to get a nice flat area to put the uh, templates down. Okay, so once that's done, what do we do with the Mylar? What we'll do is we'll lay it out. We'll work from the existing non-skid that we have in the boat. As you can see, we'll just roll it out. We'll cover about an inch on the back, an inch on the side here. We'll tape it down here. Now, obviously, this is an 80-inch sheet of Mylar. We've got about 45 inches here. We're going to rough trim on the other side here, approximately one inch past the, uh, the non-skid that's molded in. Tape that down. That's piece number one. Okay, so, so these sheets, they're 80 inches long and they're what 40, 40 inches, inches wide, wide. okay so so how many of these rolls of mylar would we need for a boat this size a 13 foot boat we're going to need uh, need to use a three-piece kit how much would that run me as a consumer uh, it's 19 dollars but the really cool thing is is once you do this you send it in us we digitize it create a drawing for you you approve the drawing and order the product we'll refund you the 19 dollars to your refund price of the kit okay so the kit virtually it doesn't cost you anything that's free Okay, that's, that's, that's awesome. Okay, so we have our first piece taped down, okay? We roll out a second sheet, we do the same thing, we tape it, okay? And then we do our third piece, and we're kind of overlapping the mylar, and we're taping them to one another. Correct. Okay, I got a question for you, check this out. I have a relatively flat section of molded and non-skid that we could cover over with the sea deck. Then it kind of, you know, it's flat up here, then it kind of goes downhill, and we have another flat section in the middle. Then it goes uphill and we have a flat section right here, okay? How are we going to address with a, with a template? Because I'm telling you, it's going to be crinkled, wrinkled. How are we going to address these, these compound curve radiuses? Real simple. You're just going to trim this with the, uh, with the razor knife or a good shear. Uh, you're going to trim it off the gel coat. I want to scratch your gel coat up. And then you're going to tape it down on both the trailing edge side and the leading edge side so you have a nice flat surface in the middle and on port starboard side. Okay, so then with the Sharpie, then what we do is, is, is we literally just trace the outline of our non-skid patterns, okay? All the way around. Correct. Now, do you think we should maybe mark, hey, this is piece one, this is piece two, this is piece three, this is the top side, this is where my non-skid is. Do you, do you need stuff you like that? You want to make sure you have the template marked out exactly the way you said. We need to know what side is the top that we're going to digitize down from. We want to know the forward piece, the middle piece, the rear piece. And it's also important to let us know perhaps if you have steps in there, if it's a step or if it's a access hatch or something along that, just write it down there and notate that on the uh, instructions. Okay, because I want to talk about, okay, so, so we've got this all templated out. Check this area out here. We have a little step up. And this might be a problem, Chuck. This hatch right here, this is very familiar material. You guys know seaboard, okay? Virtually nothing sticks to this. And I know that sea deck is kind of held on with adhesive. Correct. Can't really use it here, can I? We're using acrylic base adhesive. No problem at all with adhering to sea deck, uh, to the to seaboard, not at all. Okay, so, so, so we could cover this area 
we could cover these little molded in areas of non-skid. And back, check, check out back by the engine. Okay, do you see those two little steps? Maybe we could even pattern for those as well. Any area that's a flat spot that you're gonna step or you're gonna kneel on, go ahead and create the pattern, send them to us. Okay, so we send them to you and then you actually kind of pin these up on a board and then you use a digitizer to kind of capture and straighten out everybody's lines. Correct. All right, and all that. And then they're cut with computerized machinery. Correct. And Chuck, thank you so much for the information. What we want to do is real quick, take a very short time out, but keep it right here because when we come back, we're going to show you that process up in this factory and we're going to cover it right after this. Stay bolted. Ship Shape TV will be back in a snap. Traditional non-skids can be hard, slippery, or brittle. Need a solution? Stick it with SeaDeck, the comfortable EVA foam alternative with easy peel and stick application. If you have a boat and you have a need for SeaDeck, the wetter it gets, the better it grips. SeaDeck is your answer for replacing smelly, worn carpet. It also covers unsightly spider cracks, dings, stains, and all other gel coat imperfections, making your boat look like new. SeaDeck, comfort you need, traction you trust. Welcome back. You're tuned into Ship Shape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. We're in Rockland, Florida, just outside of Cocoa Beach at our facility here for SeaDeck. Um, SeaDeck, we've got a lot of patterns for boats on file, but if we don't, you can always buy a template kit and make your own pattern for your boat. Now, we're trying to fix some of the decking issues on a Boston Whaler. A lot of boats today have this molded in non-skid and, and that's gel coat and fiberglass, you know. And if you get spider cracks in there, it's very challenging. I mean, sometimes you might have a hundred, a thousand spider cracks in your fiberglass and gel coated deck, right. all right? And when I'm saying that it's challenging to accurately match up the non-skid patterns, okay, man, I, I'm not kidding. It is really, really tough, yeah, even for a pro. And this sea deck, this is a real quick, real pretty alternative to either fixing the gel coat with, with molded patterns mm -hmm. or grinding it off and then putting on non skid Absolutely. okay? So anybody can get these Mylar kits yep. and whatever area of the boat that they're trying to beautify, they can actually draw out that pattern, whether it's a hatch or whether it's a a helm station, a foaming bolster, a deck, correct, whatever. Correct, correct. Yeah, we actually send out a Mylar templating kit, and it has the sheets of Mylar, an indelible marker, and instructions, as well as a sample color selection. So you've got all the instructions right there. You just lay it out and make the pattern. How accurate of a drawer do you need to be for, for making these patterns for you guys? Right. Pretty accurate. I mean, otherwise, it's going to be left open to the interpretation of the CAD designer. So. If you've got some wiggly lines, we can work around that, but make sure that the size and the uh, shape of your pads are pretty spot on. Okay, so the customer draws it out, they send it to you. What do you do with the Mylar templates? Yep, uh, we unroll them, put them on a, uh, a board, then we make a digital file of that. So we have a portable digitizer, it has a wand, and we take that and, and go from point A, B, C, and D, make the pattern, and then import that into our CAD software. So it's now a digital picture? It's now a digital picture, absolutely. Uh, we've got a bank of computers, so we've got a lot of staff in there who are updating the patterns. Um, once they do that, we can output it and then cut it on one of our CNC machines. All right, what is the machine that we have right behind yeah. here? This is our access CNC machines. And uh, what it's doing is it's actually cutting the pad for Dennis and Loalani's boat right here. How many different color choices are there in the sea deck? We've got a lot of different color choices. So. Um, we've got it in single color, and then we also laminate two, two, to, three, two or three different colors. So it allows you to cut through them, exposing different colors. So you can match them to your bimini top or the hull of your boat if you want to update the color scheme on your boat. Serenity, uh, one of the big reasons that people like this molded in non-skid is because of the traction. Right. You know, you get water uh, around boating and people, you know, people can slip and they want traction. How much traction do you get out of foam? A lot, actually. The top surface of this has a micro dot pattern on it, which is really great for non-skid. Um, we actually got our start about 25 years ago making traction pads for the surfing industry, so we've really fine-tuned the art of, of traction. Um, so the wetter that it gets, the more traction you get. Okay, now how does it affix into the boat? Yeah, it's got a robust peel and stick backing on the uh, back side of it, so all you have to do is peel off the backing and apply it. Okay, now will this foam, will it hold up to 
UV in the sun, will it hold up the salt water? Absolutely, absolutely. It has UV inhibitors already in it, so it's not going to fade, it won't tear, um, won't shred, it should last. It's a pretty durable product. Okay, now they want to cover over the spider cracks in their molded and non-skid, but they do have some pretty deep spider cracks that I think we're going to have to pay a little bit of attention to. But thank you so much for the You're look welcome, around. John. We're going to get back to the boat and start on that work. Great, thank Thanks. you. Traditional non-skids can be hard, slippery, or brittle. Need a solution? Stick it with SeaDeck, the comfortable EVA foam alternative with easy peel and stick application. If you have a boat and you have a need for SeaDeck, the wetter it gets, the better it grips. SeaDeck is your answer for replacing smelly, worn carpet. It also covers unsightly spider cracks, dings, stains, and all other gel coat imperfections, making your boat look like new. SeaDeck, comfort you need, traction you trust. Welcome back. It's time to get into today's project with John. This is our cool gray over storm gray. This is the pad we made for the mahogany bench seat for your whaler. As you can see, it fits real nice. We digitized the pattern and it's exact. Uh, as you can see, we also have in here in the deck of the boat, we've laid out the, the kit for the cockpit. Not quite installed yet, but it's, it's, it's going to be installed after we uh, verify uh, the color you want. All right. Well, welcome back. This is Chuck Yates again from Sea Deck. And guys, I was kind of looking at the factory, how they make your exact pads, all right? And this was one of your choices. Now, this has got to be the hottest day of the year. I'm telling is it cooking yeah, out here hot. or what? It's Man, hot. It, it's hot, okay? But check this out. You know, I, I'm, I'm touching, and this product's very, very cool, all right? And this was one of the selections that you made, all right? You also made this selection up front. And, and Chuck, show everybody this teak look, because this is gorgeous. This is our uh, this is our faux teak that we developed over the last couple of years. This is another option you have. It's about a 25% upgrade over to standard sea deck. All right, and I'm telling you, I'm sweating like crazy. And this is in the direct sun. I'm putting my hand on it, and it's very cool. This is this is not bad at all, even though it's a dark color. Okay, this is the hottest day of the year. This is going to be very comfortable to walk on, especially when you're out in the water. Little you know wave action, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be fantastic. Let's kind of think about this okay we've got about a week we got to do that fiberglass and gel coat sure. repair for you guys all right so you got a little bit of time but chuck let's get back into my 28 foot blue water project boat sure okay remember bert with that uh cured epoxy on the rag he was scrubbing the sea deck and he kind of messed it up sure do but some people might paint their boat they might change their color scheme and this is kind of like interior decorating only exterior wise on the boat and you, there are options and you might want to change something out in five years or ten years or something like that sure how would we go about removing that pad that's over top of the center console because you know it's messed up I want to replace it anyway how do we take it off what we're gonna do John is we're gonna use a plastic putty knife we're gonna get up underneath one corner of the pad and we're gonna begin to pull once we can grip it with two hands, we should be able to get it off relatively easy, even using an additional hand maybe to help free it with that plastic putty knife. Do we have to remove that adhesive, or if it's in good shape, can we just do like a double layer of this PSA? It's called pressure sensitive adhesive, which is really durable, holds up in the water. If okay. the, if the, uh, the adhesion, uh, if the adhesive hasn't been compromised, if there's no sand or grime or grit or, or, or maybe perhaps water that's leaked up underneath it if the pad wasn't installed correctly, uh, you, you can go ahead and remove it by using mineral spirits. You're going to soak that area for 5, 10, 15 minutes, let it soften up the adhesive, and then you come back with that same plastic putty knife. You're going to scrape it off. It's going to remove the adhesive, and then you can come back with acetone, and that's going to remove the mineral spirits and any other adhesive that we have, a small amount that's there. Going to bring the pad back or the, the console back to the condition it was in previously. All right, well, let's get back into Dennis and Loalani's boat. Okay, here's the teak. And say, for example, we went with this. Maybe we went with the cool gray. I, I, they'll determine. But we have the backing, we have the PSA adhesive underneath it. Do I need to treat the boat prior to sticking this stuff down with anything? What we want to do is we want to use a household window cleaner with ammonia in it. We're going to spray it. We're going to wipe it down with a, a cotton rag 
and that's all you're really going to need to do. It's we want to be... remove suntan lotion or the wax from the original mold or any correct. dirt or anything correct, like that. Correct. Okay, that's cool. And, and, and how do we put it down so we don't get any waves or any crinkles? Sure, it's really easy, John. Like that? We're going to go ahead and lay the pad down. We're going to verify the fit. And then what I like to do is use a the pencil or a water-soluble marker to trace the outline of the pad. That's going to give me a nice footprint so I know I'm in installing the pad exactly where I want it to go. So something that's going to clean up so you don't see that mark. E exactly. Okay. Water-soluble marker, you wipe it down with water and it comes right off. Uh, you peel a couple inches of the backing away, you place it down lightly, you're going to check your fit, and then you're going to reach up underneath, you're going to pull the rest of the backing off, and you're going to roll it into place, and that's going to prevent any air bu bubbles from getting underneath the, the pad. Fantastic. Well, hey, right now we need to take our last time out of the day, and whew, thank you, it is hot, I can't wait to get inside, but hey, right now we need to take a very short time out. But keep it right here because when we come back, we're going to show you what the whaler looked like before we put the engine on, before we did anything with the mahogany wood seats, before we put in the sea deck, and we're going to show you the result of all our hard work, and we'll cover it right after this, I promise. Don't pull the plug. The boats, the tools, and ShipShape TV will be back in a snap. Traditional non-skids can be hard, slippery, or brittle. Need a solution? Stick it with Sea Deck, the comfortable EVA foam alternative with easy peel and stick application. If you have a boat, then you have a need for Sea Deck. The wetter it gets, the better it grips. Sea Deck is your answer for replacing smelly, worn carpet. It also covers unsightly spider cracks, dings, stains, and all other gel coat imperfections, making your boat look like new. Sea Deck, comfort you need, traction you trust. Welcome back aboard. Fishing for boat improvements? Well, you caught it right here at Ship Tape TV. Man, this sea deck, when it's a little bit thicker, makes an awesome combing bolster. Hey, welcome back. We've replaced some of the sea deck panels on our 28 foot blue water project boat, and we have kind of changed the color scheme here on the blue water project boat. We now have a dark blue backing with the cool gray over top of it. And this really ties in with the dark blue Sumbrella T-top that I have on the boat, as well as the hull sides. Now, we've also been working on, you know, a couple boats today, that Boston Whaler, and I want to show you the original condition of the boat before we started the restoration with the old engine, the wood, all the varnish was coming off of it, all the spider cracking in that deck. And at the boat shop, the guys, you know, and I was telling Dennis, uh, color matching this old crazed gel coat is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. But the guys have gone ahead and done a, a pretty, actually a very good job on filling in those spider cracks. And they've also compounded the inside of the boat as well as the outside of the boat using that variable grit rubbing compound put out by Surehold. It's called Yacht Bright. It's the Buff Magic, okay, part of their line. And the boat looks very, very good. Now, also, we've put in a combination of the sea deck. We've gone with the teak as well as that cool gray over the dark gray. And the boat, you know, if you take a look at the before and the after, it is absolutely dramatic. And we've got a couple of people that we need to thank who helped make today's show possible. First off, Chuck Yates from Hyperform. That's the parent company of sea deck. We had Serenity Gardner showing us some of the cool machinery involved in making this material. Jason Gardner uh, actually oversaw and made sure that we were putting this down in the right form and the right fashion. He did a wonderful job. And I got to tell you, if you have molded in non-skid like we have here on the Blue Water and you have that fracturing, okay, that spider cracking, that is a very challenging repair. It's very labor intensive. And the Sea Deck is a wonderful very inexpensive alternative and I think it's really gonna enhance your boat and really kind of help you out. Hey, my guys worked very, very hard on the program, but the most important one that we need to thank here, that's right, it's been you. Thanks so much for hanging out with us right here on the beautiful water's edge. But we've gotta go, but how about this? How about until we see each other again? Can you do yourself a favor? Can you get out there and make your boat ship shape? Of course you can. I'm John Graviscus. We'll see you next time. Closed captioning for ShipShape TV has been made possible by ShipShapeTV.com, the official website.